okay so the sun is coming out so i want to take a picture of my lettuces before it gets too hot in here i've got to chop them down so that's what they are and there's my little green guys at the very end they're not big enough to cut yet really nope i have to weigh these little guys and see how much we got so this is just the size of the mustard greens that i planted at the bed ends here and I actually did get a different variety planted here at the other end. I brought out my orange from the house underneath the lights and look how fast and good this is growing compared to these little guys, which are, are doing fine here. You know, they're doing okay, but this is definitely growing way better. The sugar snap peas, you know, they're, not very uniform they're growing faster depending on where there's more moisture in these flats but uh they definitely grew faster in the house but they're doing fine out here um but just yeah this is kind of an experiment to find out like where do i want do i want to grow my orange you know in the beds or should i just do them as like kind of microgreens in the house and then add them to lettuce mixes next year so anyway data to think about so i'm going to cut these above their their leaves so that um they grow new little leaves down here and see how long i can kind of keep these guys going i've been kind of doing the same thing with the sugar snap peas whoa kind of cutting the tops and see how long I can get them to kind of keep regrowing. Everything from the garden, except for the tomatoes and maybe tomatoes next year. I checked the boards on the west end of my garden over there for slugs and now I'm in here with the kale and the chard checking under my, you know, cardboard to see if I can find slugs. So I've got a passel of slugs from all that, which I'm gonna dump out the front of the property. But uh, the cardboard seems to be working pretty good for catching slugs. And guess who I found, guys? A little lizard friend. Hello. Oh, he's so good. I wonder if he eats slugs. Here's my little Junko friends. I thought these guys were gone. They're still here. Get them. Get them, little buddies. I've got I had a couple of blue jays in here. Where is he at? There he is. I just um, cleaned up the chard leaves and the kale leaves. And they're probably picking whatever bugs are, are out there. Hi, Blue Jay fellow. Oh boy. Help me out. Help me out, buddy. Help me out. Hey! So I feel like um, with just this little bit of sun that we've had that I need to get like three months worth of, of farming, gardening done in like just a week. Ah! Anyway, but I did um, kind of clean out some leaves and stuff from the kale and chard and I've been tossing it in the compost bin, but earlier today I was dealing with some compost stuff. So I've got my compost bins here, right? And the only compost I had was just a little bit at the very bottom of this bin and then about a foot in here. So I scraped off the top, you know, um, what was in this bin and put it on top of, cause it's, you know, kind of pretty much finished compost really. And I put it on these four tarps so that it'll, it can dry out so I can go ahead and screen it and use it in my soil mix for next year because I've been really worried about where am I gonna get my compost and then the layers down below that were really not finished and so I just kind of shoveled them all on top of that little bit I had in this bin and so then that opens up this bin this one right here is already empty you can't see that but um and so what I'm doing over here is as I'm pulling off stuff from the garden, you know, the leaves from the garden, like the kale, I'm throwing it into this bin. I had just a little bit of seaweed at the bottom and then I've just been throwing everything, 
waste from the garden, except for the, you know, the stuff that's kind of like, you know, the sugar snap peas, which have blight in them. Um, I've been throwing it in this bin. And then this bin here has like, you know, rotted leaves and stuff like that. And so I've been kind of just doing a little bit of a lasagna thing with fresh stuff here and then some sawdust and leaves on top and kind of just sandwiching that in there. I just got a call from the restaurant and she wants me to try and get seven, six ounce bags of basil out of this. So I'm gonna give her a try. Okay, I squeezed out seven six ounce bags for the restaurant. Oh my goodness. Little buddy. Little buddy's eating some snacks. Oh boy, snacks. You little hog. Get him, get him. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Ah, oh, you're so funny. So I'm down here underneath the scarlet kale and the Siberian kale, cutting back the clover like I did with the Italian kale beds and the chard bed. So I just wanted to show you kind of a before picture before I get too far and so that I can show you an after picture and how much I got done. Actually, the lettuces are coming back so fast from when I picked them last week that I can get more off of them this week. But what I wanted to show you is my baby chards and the baby spinach is ready to pick. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this lettuce at the end here because I need to bake, um, you know, bags for me and number one customer. Now I'm going to cut for the first time my orange. I've been kind of just letting my sugar snap peas <laughs> ah, do whatever. I haven't cut the ones out here. So I got a couple of big handfuls of the orange and I left quite a bit, but I just wanted to get a little bit. This is the chard and the spinach that I picked. Five ounces of spinach and six ounces of the chard because I planted a little bit more of the chard. So these are a lot more delicate than the stuff that's growing outside. So since they're already clean, I'm just gonna kind of layer them into a bag with the, the lettuce that I've washed. And I've got one, two, three, eight ounce bags plus a five ounce bag. I was really bad last night. I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning. I've kind of gotten to this weird habit where as it's been like just raining and raining, um, you know, just staying up late and then waking up late. But now we've got these nice days and I feel like I'm, well, I am wasting the mornings. So anyway, I had bought this um, Chameleon Organic Cold Brew Oat Milk milk latte, dark chocolate with organic oat milk. And um, I usually don't drink coffee because it. To I love coffee, but it totally jitters me up. But I thought today wouldn't be a bad day to go ahead and try this out. So I shook it up. It's got a little bit of mist coming off of it. Oh my gosh, so good. Yesterday I, um, you know, got a little bit more clover from the garden and I've just been kind of layering a little bit of clover or whatever excess kale or charred, you know, bad leaves and stuff and then putting a layer of leaves from this compost bin. And so I'm almost up to about, you know, three feet or so of this material in here. And what's interesting is I got to the bottom of this bin where I've had mostly leaves it is not composted. It is like still just kind of like rotted leaves. And so this pile has just kind of not been composting. I think again, it's my carbon nitrogen ratio. This was too much carbon. And in the bins where I had seaweed, it was just like probably too much nitrogen. Also, I think that just being in here with a roof, it's not getting enough, you know, moisture. And so moisture is probably an issue too. But now I'm down to about a foot of this material in here. And as I just kind of keep, you know, maybe I can get a little bit of comfrey or something from the park 
um, you know, area and throw that in here and then throw a layer of leaves or whenever I have, you know, stuff coming out of the garden, kind of waste materials, I can just, you know, keep using this materials layer. And then I will have an empty one, two, three bins. And then this last one is just like a combination of the rotted seaweed from both these bins all over in this bin here. And I'm really excited. I've been kind of shuffling around these tarps of, you know, the really composted material, seaweed material. And I just kind of keep trying to aerate it so it'll dry out and super excited about that. Okay, so I've got to close up the greenhouses and I've been kind of putting the poly low tunnel down um, at night and it's getting to be about like, I don't know, 50 degrees at night. We're in like the mid 60s Fahrenheit during the day. But yeah, hopefully I get myself to bed earlier uh, the next number of days so that uh, I can get some stuff done while we have these nice days. I need to harvest potatoes, I think, just get those done and uh, maybe get the rest of the carrots. So anyway, see you next week.